All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and sincere Shalom to all the Aki in my head that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Um, I want to go in on a quick lesson, you know, uh, try to make this as uh, short and sweet as possible. Um, about uh, how, you know, uh, the elect, you know, are uh, fools for Yahweh Shai, you know, and we're. Um, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, set up uh, the apostles, you know, on down from, from Apostle Tahar, you know, um, as the men of the Lord. Um, a lot of people can't come into this truth because they uh, they love the ways of this world, you know. Um, they, for, for many different reasons, you know, whether it's the children, whether it's... Um, their job, you know, uh, whatever the case may be, these people, they love uh, the ways of this world. They're women, um, just in general. But um, this is Ezekiel 33 and 30. It says, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, you know, um, you got certain people who, you know, get on the internet, you know, and they um, watch the videos of the Apostles of Great Millstone, you know, but they don't ever want to get out there and um, go do the work, you know. Um, it says, um, and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. You know, that they always watch... Uh, <laughs> the the videos of the apostles sitting down, you know, um, even when them going when, with them going out to uh, do the work, you know, they say, and they come unto thee as as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and and they hear thy words, but they will not do them, for with their mouth they so much love, but their heart goes after their covetousness, you know, which is uh, the desire. It says, and lo, they art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. You know? So, that's just, you know, straight and, and to the point, you know. Like these people, they don't want to, um, they, they want to listen, you know, even with, with, with people coming up to, um, to listen at the camps and stuff like that, you know, they, they want to listen, you know, but they don't want to, um, do what y'all about some y'all shot ones from, you know, they don't want to actually put on the garments and, and put their hand to the plow. Um, this is Matthew 7 and 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever feareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And, hold on. Now, I'm going I'm to, I'm because a lot, one of the ways how our people, you know, that, uh, what they love, you know, they, they, they like going into these churches, you know. Uh, this is Matthew 16 and 18, right? It says, uh, and, I, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You know? So, church is not a building. It's more so of who you are, you know, calling out, you know? It's, it's, your, your body is your temple, you know? And the scriptures say when two or more are gathered in his name, you know? He's there in the midst of them. So a lot of people, you know, even when, when we're doing the videos or, or going out to go speak, they just want to listen, you know, to the word of the Lord, you know. But uh, more specifically, you know, Yahweh Shah, you know, he, he, he started this this foundation, you know, in, 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 the, in the word, you know. 
is uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat the verse again. It says Matthew seven seven to twenty four. It says therefore whosoever feareth these sins of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Now. Uh, this has nothing to do with um, with with the, the the topic more so, but um, my name is Taza Warrior. You know, Taza Warrior uh, stands for my rock. You know, so the thing is that the 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 foundation. You know, what I'm saying the 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 building, uh, the word. You know, what I'm saying you try to be uh, firm in this, these scriptures. You know. You know, and 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 the, as the scriptures say, you know, whoever hears these sayings and do them, he will liken them unto a wise man that builds his house upon a rock. You know, so that's just you know, spirit wise, you know, that's what I try to do. You know, try to, you know, I, hey, I I try to study, you know, and 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 accept the whole entire Bible for what it is. You know, I don't try to flip the words or or. or Make my own interpretation of it, you know. I'm just trying to be firm in y'all by some y'all shot, you know. And and when the times come, you know, because no matter what, when whatever I go through, you know, what the scriptures say, and the and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, you know what I'm saying? Like if you have your faith in y'all by some y'all shot. He's going to protect you through whatever comes your way, you know? And uh, and like I said, like a lot of people, they don't want to come into the Lord, you know, because they, 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 they're they kind of scared, you know? They know that he this is the truth, but they don't want to um, do the work or put their hand to the plow, you know? So the, the, you can't be scared when you're doing this, you know, because this is important, you know? This is livelihood, you know. This is, um, it says, um, Matthew 7 and 26. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell. And great was the fall of it, you know. So if you're not firmly um, into these scriptures or, 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 or have a foundation, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, not um, the ways of this world, you know, is a disciple or apostle of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, you're going to be able to withstand with what whatever comes your way. If you're not a part of, if you don't have that foundation, you're going to get blown away, you know. Um, this is James 1. And my bad. James one and twenty two, my bad. It says, uh, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any man, I mean, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goes his way and straightway forgets what manner of man he was. You know, so so you got to do the, the, the work of the Lord, you know, not going to these churches and, and just hear. What Yahweh, because Yahweh sent me outside, not in, in churches, Salakia. Um, not going to these, uh, not just listening or looking at the videos or, or whatever the case may be, you know. You you got to do the words, I mean, do the word, keep his law, statutes, and commandments, you know. This is um, Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as the people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, 
but have removed their heart far from me, and that fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. You know, that's what um, basically I was trying to get into was about how um, these people, they just want to go into um, into uh, the churches and just listen to what that pastor say, you know, or they um, they want to um, just listen to what uh, the what we say from GMS, you know, starting from uh, Apostle Tahar on down, you know, and they don't want to study themselves, you know. They don't want to get rooted in Yahweh by some Yahweh shot, you know, because honestly, even Apostle Taha said, you know, he can't save you, you know, he can't, he can't put that, that fear of the Lord in you, you know, that has to be, uh, something that you have to do. You have to work out your own salvation, you know, so, uh, that's pretty much, uh, to the point also, you know, um, This is James 2 and 14. It says, uh, What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? You know, uh, if a brother... Or sister be naked and, a, and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto him, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give him them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? You know, and one of the one of the things that we're helping y'all, you know, by the by doing it, you know, it by doing the works, you know. We out here telling y'all to get right with the Lord, you know? And when you come into this thing, we try to try our best to be as brotherly as possible, you know? But at the same time, like, that's a part of doing the works. You can't say that you have faith, but you don't do what Yahweh Shem Yahweh wants from you, you know? You can't love the, the ways of this world and love Yahweh Shem Yahweh you know? Um, I'm going to get that. Um, Matthew um, 13, I mean 6 and 24 it says no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he would hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, you know. You can't love Yahweh Shemuel Shah, you know, in the ways of and the ways of this world, you know. The scriptures say, you know, in uh Luke um fourteen and twenty six, let me get that also. Luke 14 and 26, it says, um, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life, also he cannot be my disciple. You know, we're not out here trying to uh, make it in this wicked society, you know, because America is going to get destroyed anyway, you know. We're not out here trying to 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 be the best. Um, even though, uh, according to the scriptures, you know, we're supposed to to do what we can. You know, live peaceably among men as we possibly can. But when it comes to this word, we more focused on loving Yahweh by Shem Yahushua and doing what He wants from us. You know, more so than trying to be a doctor. You know. Or or any other job, you know, because y'all by some outside give it and he could take it take it all away, you know. Um I'm gonna get uh a parable. Um it's in Matthew um nineteen. You know. Cause this is uh beautiful also. Um Matthew 
19, and I'm going to start at 18. It says, uh, I'm going to read it verbatim. Um, it says, he said unto him, which Jesus said, uh, thou shalt do, hold on, so like, yeah. Um, you see, because at this point, one of a rich man came to Yahweh Shah, and Yahweh Shah was speaking to him, and basically, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a just uh, read it. Oh, here I'm gonna start at the 16th verse, and it says, uh, "And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life?" And he said unto him. Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Right? Even Yahweh Shah was telling, you know, uh, telling him that he wasn't good. You know, and if uh, you were in the know, you would know that Yahweh Shah was King Solomon. You know? But it says, uh, he saith unto him, which, which, um, Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast. And give to the poor, and thou shalt have trouble in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. You know? And then Jesus said unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I and again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the most high. Right? You see, as you can see, like we're not out here trying to be uh super billionaires or anything like that, because on this side everything is completely temporary. You know? Nothing is permanent. The only thing that the only one that can give you that permanent, you know, is Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah. You know, that eternal life. You know? It says, um, when his disciple heard it, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yahweh Shah behold, beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with, with the Most High all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of glory, ye shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You know? Now, in that scripture it says, Ye that have followed me in the regeneration. So, if you follow Yahweh Shah right now, you know, you always follow Yahweh Shah, you know, in your past lives. You know, regeneration is in the scriptures. And if you remember when I said earlier that those that are in the know, know that Yahweh Shah was King Solomon, you know. So that's why, the re that's why he said that, um, why callest thou me good, you know, because he was perfect as Yahweh Shah, you know. But it's King Solomon in, in his past other lives. He wasn't, you know. It says, uh, And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, I mean, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Right? So that's the, that's the, the, the goal, you know. When you when you go out here, of course we're unprofitable servants and everything like that, you know. But at the same time, the blessings that's going to come is going to be a uh, hundredfold, you know. Women, you know, it's going to be polygamy in the kingdom, you know. 
uh, it's going to be mad peace. It's going to be um, happiness. Whatever is in your heart's content, you know, it's going to be that plus more, plus with the everlasting life on top of it, you know. But for, for that, you got to, you know, prove that you're even worthy of that, you know. And with that said, I'm going to give this this one scripture, you know, because like I said, like on this side, we don't have, um, there's nothing over here that's really worthy of staying, you know, on, in, in this society. America is going to shit to killing our people, you know, um, we eating crappy food, you know, it's so much craziness over here, you know, not just in America, but in the whole entire um, world. You know, but, um, this is first Corinthians nine, I mean, four and nine. It says, for, I think that the most high have set forth us, the apostles last, as it were appointed to death for, you, you see, that's one thing also, you know, what, one of the reasons why people are scared to come out and do the work because they're scared of death, you know, they're scared of being put to death. But Yahweh was crucified, you know, and he rose again. So that's a symbol that if you even believe in Yahweh Yahweh you know, you'll be able to uh, defeat death. You know, you'll be resurrected if you die for his namesake, you know. But it says, uh, for I think that the Most High have set forth us, the apostles last, as it were appointed to death because people love the ways of this world, you know. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are fools for Yahweh's side shake, but ye are wise in Christ. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. You know, that when you come into this, you know, a lot of people are scared, you know. But you're, this, this, you gotta, you gotta have that faith, you know. Um, continuing on because a lot of people sit up there and they say that um gms are bums and you know we're losers or whatever the case may be you know it says even unto this present hour we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place and labor working with our own hands being reviled we bless we being persecuted we suffer it being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offscouring of all things unto this day. You know? So, when you come into this truth, you know, and, and more specifically, you know, GMS, you know, we have the 100% truth. You know? We're being defamed, you know. Uh, there's a couple of brothers, you know, including myself, who are going through, you know, all type of hell, you know. In this in this this society, you know, um, you go through all type of pain, you know. But at the end of the day, we both we all know, you know, the 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 ones in GMS. We know that um, this ain't ain't temporary. I mean, this is only temporary. It's not permanent, you know. Our blessings are gonna come, you know, if we just hold on. What else is to hold on to in this society, you know? So that's pretty much uh, straight and to the point, you know. When you come into this, you know, you got to be a doer of the word. You got to keep the laws, the statutes, and the commandments and have faith in Yahweh Basim Yahweh you know. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And the sincere shalom to all the Aki and Malhead that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Shalom.